I like best about this country are the people. There isn't anything we can't do. There still is that feeling in America. That's the part I love about it. My mother thought the most important virtue was courage. She thought everything else flowed from that. And she said, bravery resides in every heart. And someday it's likely to be summoned. Over the last four years, Americans have summoned the bravery that lives in our hearts. One by one, family by family, community by community, fighting through the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Proving once again, there is just no quit in America. Joe Biden understands this. It's what you learn growing up in Scranton, Pennsylvania and Claymont, Delaware. It was a neat place to grow up. I mean, we thought it was, and still do think it's completely normal. Four kids, three bedrooms, mom and dad, and of the probably 16 years I lived in that house, there was a relative, at least 14 of those years, living with us full time. My parents never doubted for a second I could be president or vice president, but there's this notion that nobody is better than you, you're no better than anyone else, but nobody's better than you, honey. And in this country, you can be anything you want to be. And I think that sense of optimism is what he feels for America. His parents taught him the fundamental truths that make this country special. Basic beliefs that have defined what it has meant to be middle class for generations. Middle class wasn't a, a number. It wasn't your net worth. It was, it, it, it was more a value set. It's the idea that everyone in this country who works at it can do well, who can own a home, not rent it, be able to live in a safe neighborhood, send their kid to school, help take care of their parents, maybe save enough that they, they, they can take care of themselves and not to rely on their children. That's what this is all about. But for too many middle-class families, this dream is falling out of reach. The pain of the Great Recession has cut deep. The longest walk a parent can make is up a short flight of stairs up to their child's bedroom to sit on the edge of the bed and say, honey, I'm sorry, but you can't play on the Little League team this summer, and, and, or you can't sing in St. Anne's Choir, or you can't, uh, you know, go to Roosevelt High School. Um, I lost my job. We've got to move. My dad made that walk. Think how many people have made some version of that walk all across America. And they're not looking for a handout. They're just looking for a shot, just a shot to get back in the game. And, um, and I think we own that shot. Giving the middle class a shot has been the cause of this White House. From the moment they took the oath of office, the challenges have been enormous. For this president and vice president, it has been a partnership forged in fire. It's turned out to be a singular opportunity to be able to work with a guy like Barack Obama because we trust each other. It's a completely candid relationship. He, I asked him why he wanted me, and he said to help him govern. And so it's been very rewarding, but it's been most rewarding watching him. This guy has an incredible amount of character. He's a backbone like a ramrod. He makes his judgments based upon what he thinks is good for the country. The last questions he asks are the political consequences of it. Joe has been a great partner and a great vice president. He cares about the middle class. He knows what it's like to struggle, and he's carried that passion to the White House. Every step of the way, they have met the challenge. Preventing an economic collapse, rescuing the auto industry, passing historic health care reform, eliminating bin Laden, ending the war in Iraq. And through it all, they have put the interests of the nation first. Really and truly, Brock and I are about growing this economy from the middle out. Because when you do it that way, everybody does well. Poor folks have a ladder up. There's a way into the middle class, those who are striving to get in the middle class. And the wealthy do very well, because the middle class have money in their pockets. They can go out and purchase things that make the economy grow. It not only is sort of the American way, it's also economically the best way to grow a country. 
Give them a tax system that's basically fair. Give their kids an opportunity for an education. Provide an environment where they can flourish. Maybe it's because he's never forgotten where he came from that he's never lost sight of where we need to go. He has such a, a sense of justice and fairness to him. And I think that makes him fight even harder for people. Maybe it's because he's known loss and pain in his own life that he's never been blind to the suffering of others. I think that's one of the things that Joe has that a lot of people don't have, the sense of intuition. He intuitively feels someone's pain. He did know what it feels like to lose a wife and then, and then the unspeakable, to lose a child. And I think that's why people connect with him. He's always shown that he's been a man that supports the working class. He really cares for you. He's absolutely here for us. He's listening. Yes, he is. Thank I'm going to get a chocolate cone. Here, Roger. Hey, Roger. This is Joe Biden. <laughs> Biden! 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 Maybe it's because he's never doubted the American people that he's never doubted America's future. It's never been a safe bet to bet against America. I know I get criticized for saying that to foreign leaders, but I will not stop saying it. It's never been a good bet to bet against America. We're in a fight for the middle class, and there's nobody I'd rather have in that fight with me than Joe Biden. He's the husband of a teacher who knows teachers should be lifted up, not torn down. He's the son of an auto man who never doubted the American auto industry would once again roar. He's the author of the Violence Against Women Act, who's had the courage to stand against the abuse of power his whole career. He's the father of an Iraq war veteran who believes our one sacred obligation is to take care of those who have served this nation. I can say with absolute certitude, I am more optimistic about America's chances today than I have been my entire life. Grit, determination, resilience, optimism. That's been the story of America, the story of ordinary people with extraordinary courage, overcoming extraordinary obstacles, and always, always moving towards a better day. Joe Biden knows that story. He's lived it. Our Vice President, Joe Biden.